It's 7.45 in the morning. I woke up about 45 minutes ago. <laughs> Slept as late as I could after uh, going to bed somewhere between 3.30 and 4. So, didn't get a lot of sleep. Um, <clears throat> woke up feeling absolutely horrible. That's what happens when you don't get your eight hours. <laughs> Jumped out of bed, had some warm wa water and cayenne pepper and lemon and managed to make myself a green juice, which took about 10 to 15 minutes. It was worth the time. Um, and uh, drank that real quick, threw on some makeup, did my hair, <laughs> and uh, was out the door. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely tired and sluggish, but I'm in a good mood, <laughs> regardless of all of that. And I brought along some amazing grass powder, which has some little bit of caffeine in it from green tea and a ton of superfoods. So that'll help me out when I start to feel sluggish later on in the day. And I have leftovers to eat from last night's dinner and lots of places around me if I want to have, go have a healthy treat. So that's the start of my day so far. One thing I did manage to do this morning, which I thought was important because I was so tired, was I did some dry brushing before I put my clothes on and did it in front of the heater, which is actually very nice. So it helped me get my circulation going and maybe felt like I accomplished something. So that was a good way to do it too. I'm taking a break, working downtown, and came over to the Yerba Buena Gardens. I haven't really spent much time over here before, so having this uh, goal of exercising and being out in nature during the cleanse has been really nice. Um, not only did I come over here, but I also walked past some new restaurants that I was able to stop by, check out their menus, see what vegan options they had. So that was nice, and I had a nice brisk stroll down the street. Um, and because I've been so tired and low on energy, I decided to get a Lara bar, whose wrapper I just drew on. Um, these are great. They're not organic, <clears throat> but they're really basic. They're non-GMO. Uh, this one just has cashews and dates in it, which are both allowed on the Crazy Sexy Diet Cleanse. I try to keep dates to a minimum, but when I need, you know, like a little bit of a sugar rush for a little bit, it's nice for that. They have a few other things, but make sure to always check the ingredients because a lot of them will have a few other types of sugars in them. And things like peanuts are things that you should avoid just due to mold issues, especially when you're on the cleanse. So I'm going to go enjoy the rest of the park and the remaining time that I have. Someone's over here doing a little bit of uh, Tai Chi or Qigong or something like that over there, which is nice. And relaxing to see and reminding me to uh, appreciate everything and take my time and breathe and take it all in. Hope you're doing the same. It's three o'clock, mid-afternoon, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I was able to take a nap after I got back from work a few hours ago. I took a 40-minute nap and uh, woke up, wasn't feeling too hot, and was craving chocolate peanut butter cups. I was thinking of ways that I could satisfy that craving. And then it occurred to me that I could make a smoothie. So I mixed together some unsweetened brown rice milk that was fortified with some vitamins like B12 and vitamin D that made me very happy. Mixed that up with um, some almond butter, a little piece of banana, some vanilla, some raw cacao powder, some cacao nibs. And I think that was it. And it made this really good smoothie. Totally made me feel, gave me energy and totally satisfied that craving. So that was a very smart decision. But it's going to tide me over until whatever I decide to make for dinner. That is my sad attempt at making uh, the Crazy Sexy Diet seed cakes. Is that what they're called? Sexy seed cakes, which are really basic. They're basically pancakes. Um, incredible. They may be falling apart for me. <laughs> I couldn't make a gluten-free pancake to save my life. It is like, I have not figured it out. Can someone please explain to me why they always fall apart? <laughs> is it the lack of gluten? I don't know. Uh, so frustrating. But anyways, it never really matters because when you make a good, when you find a good batter, it doesn't matter if they fall apart or not because you just want to eat them. And this one is really good and super healthy and just the right amount of sweet. Definitely recommend it, and if you can perfect it and flip it over without it falling apart and crumbling, I want to know your secret.
Well, another end to a successful cleanse day for me. It's the end of day three, which seems like no time at all. And yet it seems like I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> this is the way cleanses go. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was just a really mellow day. Uh, you know, for me, I don't know if I've said this in my other videos yet, but it's, it's just been a very mellow thing for me, but it's really just continuously bringing my awareness back to things. I've had these moments where I've thought about having um, something like sugar and just knowing that I'm gonna cleanse and committed to doing this really keeps me from having it. Whereas most times I would find some sort of little justification. And again, you know, my philosophy on life is, is and diet is uh, to not feel guilty about it. Sometimes you should splurge and you can't be perfect. And But I just feel like you begin these patterns, especially with foods that you're kind of addicted to. Um, the most exciting thing for me is I had a great trip to Rainbow Grocery, which is my favorite grocery store in the whole world. It's a huge reason why I was excited about moving to San Francisco. And I just had to, took an hour there and just went there. I had this great shopping list I've been putting together based on all these recipes I've been finding. And um, I'm actually putting together a video so that you can see it, maybe to help with your next trip uh, during your cleanse or just for your healthy eating in general. Um, and I felt so excited about it. And I didn't, you know, put too much of a limit on my spending, actually. I just let myself get all the essential things and the healthiest things and didn't worry too much about it. Um, and that felt so good. Money can really get in the way of us um, buying quality foods, but when you can just allow yourself to spend a little extra more, especially when you're really taking care of yourself on a cleanse, it just is so rewarding. You know, I got some really good uh, flax oil and hemp oil, which I was most excited about. I don't normally do oils, but these two are incredibly nutritious and in like tons of recipes that I've been looking at. So figure uh, for this cleanse at least I'll be a little bit more generous with the oil um, especially since the diet isn't generally so low in fat unless you're eating a ton of nuts that it's nice to have some fat content in there um, and of course all the things like the omega-3 fatty acids that are part of hemp and flaxseed um, and the proteins etc. That's especially important for Owen actually because I've already started to notice a change in Owen uh, just based on his clean eating. I'm a little worried that he's going to start losing too much weight, especially if he continues it for the whole cleanse. So I'm really trying to be mindful of that for him. Uh, for dinner, we had a really, really great dinner. I was super excited because I got to make some recipes from Thrive Foods, Brendan Brazier's book, which I'll talk more about in depth when I really have a chance to read it. But the recipes in this are phenomenal. Not all of them fit in with the diet. A lot of them have a lot of sweet stuff in it, like fruits and various sweeteners and all that, even though you can replace a lot of it with dates or with stevia. Um, and then there are a few things that snuck in there, like uh, I accidentally ended up using some red wine vinegar, even though you're not supposed to use anything but uh, apple cider vinegar as part of this diet. So I'll try to be more mindful of that. But in general, everything's really whole foods based. It's super nutritious and uh, just really great recipes that are easy to prepare. A lot of them take no time at all. And my favorite thing that I made tonight was this incredible Caesar salad dressing. Um, and that just came together really well. I tried out this almond noodle dish. Mm, didn't turn out so great with the kelp noodles. The, the sauce, uh, I tried to cut out, leave out some things and replace it with other stuff and that just didn't work. Um, but I'm really excited. I've written down tons of recipes and I've stocked up my kitchen so I can have more of this. So coming towards um, the things that Chris writes about day three. Day three is, is typically um, a Wednesday, but for me it was a Tuesday. But it's kind of that hump day anyways, you know, a Wednesday is the third day of the week anyways. Um, so it's a really good thing when you can get over that hump. So your focus for today was supposed to be in your mind's eye. Imagine how good it feels to start something new and to see it in completion. For a minute or two, close your eyes and picture a colorful calendar. Watch yourself as you check off each day of the cleanse with a green marker. Let the joy wash over you as you usher your accomplishment into your tissues. You did it. Now open your eyes and know that you will do it and to the best of your ability at the time. The only failure is in action. Such great words of wisdom there. 
and I definitely can agree with just how good it feels to complete things. Um, the prayer for today is allow me to let go of the restraints and get out of my own way. I am as free as I will let myself be and I could really use a gentle reminder and perhaps a flick on the ass. <laughs> um, I don't really feel restrained, but I know a lot of you tend to do it um, and get in your own ways, especially with eating healthy, so it's definitely an important thing. Affirmation for the day is, I am so freaking cool and delicious and pretty and witty and sharp. I love every inch of me, who wouldn't? And I've been working on that for most of uh, my life and uh, getting better and better at it. It's, it is a very important thing to say to yourself as much as possible. Um, the God Pod maintenance tip is to make sure that your lymph need or work it, your lymph needs you. Um, this is a great day to play with your neti pot, which I use any day, every day at, uh, anyways, but if you haven't invested in a neti pot yet, I definitely recommend it. It's changed my life. It got rid of my allergies. It really helps me when I have any sort of nasal issues, and it's just a great way to clear yourself out. Uh, so that's it for now. I can't think of anything else I want to discuss. Owen has been going through a harder time than me, of course, because he's gotten rid of so many acidic foods out of his diet so quickly. Um, so it's been interesting to watch him over the course of that time. And then tomorrow on day four, I'm actually going to do a juice cleanse. I was gifted one um, just coincidentally by someone local in San Francisco. I'm going to try it out and review it. So I got to get this extra day of, of extra cleanliness. So I can't wait to tell you all about that. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts as always. Please, please, please do video responses. I, a lot of you have been joining me on Google Plus Hangouts lately, so I know you're not camera shy. So get in front of that camera, make a recording, spread it on YouTube, and I really look forward to reading your thoughts uh, in the comment section as well. Thanks so much for tuning in. You can find me at ecovegangal.com, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, Tumblr, Instagram, uh, and all sorts of other places, Foursquare, for example. Look forward to seeing you on all those places, and we'll check in with you tomorrow night.